smells glorious out here. Alaska's got a nice fresh wintergreen smell. We'll wait the out long. What's that? Oh, we need that definitely, yes. Yeah, we need to know yes. where we're going. Dude, I'm glad we got the purple one built here. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we get to fill this thing up with fish today. Well, that's what we're told. This can go in here. I'm actually super pumped for the day. Reason being, wow, that door just came real quick. Is these kind of trips, other trips I looked forward to when I was a kid, because my dad used to do Alaskan bush plane trips all the time, and he was, I guess he was probably around my age when he did them all the time. Yeah, but now he's not here anymore, so now I'm kind of like living on the legend. Yeah, we're, ma we're making new badass stories to the Turkle family. That's so, a song Keith Urban would say. <laughs> living like a legend, living on a legend. I'm going after some sockeye, but first we got to get food. We were kind of originally thinking, you know, maybe they're going to have like a little assortment of food for us to choose from here. No, that's not the case. No. We're in Alaska. We got to go find food, apparently. Might go out here and kill us a bear. Oh, look. America hat. Look at that, dude. You are dressed to impress. 10 R, 10 left, you know what I mean? <laughs> just, just in case, you know. <laughs> Actually, what the hell? All right, we're here finally. We made it, and we were on time, which is which is probably pretty good, I think, to be on time for a trip you have planned, right? See, a lot of you guys like to take boats to your fishing spot. No, not here in Alaska. We like to take airplanes, aeroplanes with floats. That's right. Floaty airplanes. How Ain't floaty? no joke around here, dude. I'm feeling super floaty today. Uh, probably should put a seatbelt on, huh? Probably. Fire seat, which is under my seat. Oh, that's... Okay, I like the noise that's it. I can do that. I got this. Cool. I can hold on to a cushion. Nothing like having to tow the, the plane that flew you in here out. It looks so nice. So nice. It's crisp out here. It's, it's telling you that wintergreen smell keeps following me around. I don't really know why though. What wintergreen? That wintergreen smell. The dip? It's like a weird wintergreen stench that keeps coming out of your... What? He said after this point he doesn't, uh, he doesn't know the channel from here on out so we can just hit bottom at any point. It's a good feeling. I love it. It's, it's a little nippy, I will say that. Just a tad bit nippy. For bass fishing, this looks pretty tasty for some bass fishing action, you know what I mean? See you know how it's what I mean? all salty like this? Yeah, why is, why is it like that color anyway? It comes from the glacier. Oh, really? Learn something new, glacier water. Nice and milk-like. Oh yeah, look, see that's gotta be a fish right there. Look at him. That's fish. Oh yeah, that's a tasty that's looking a fish. bass, Rob. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Oh, look, look at him, look at him, look at him. Yep. Oh. These things are gonna become my meal. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Right, I'm about to eat, Sorry, eat, eat these things. <laughs> Well, I will give this. Oh yeah, first cast. Go, hold that first cast in Alaska. Jig, you know, nice pop. But these guys are. Yep, there you go. There's one. Way. Oh yeah. Oh, it is off. Yeah. He is off. All right. Wow. Pop. Aggressive pop. Yep. All right. Well, that's the second cast already, and I am wrapped on everything known to man and myself. Well, wow, that fish took off quick. 
Let's give this a shot. And I'm like, give me any excuse to find any means to get away from people, and I'm all about it. Oh, yeah. Got him. Got him? Yep. Nice. First fish. Oh, you little oh, yeah. son of a. Yeah, hold on. I got him already. Oh, he's screaming. Uh -oh. First one. Got an attitude adjuster. Hold that net for me. He's got to get an attitude adjuster. You, you, you got to get the attitude adjuster. Oh, putting him in the cooler. Dude, dude you're gonna be my. You're gonna be on my table here yeah, soon, little pop dude. Him I'll pop him. Okay. All right. Where's backhand T2? There you go. He's gone. Done. Done ski. First red, Rob. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Thanks, dude. You're welcome. We got ourselves some food here. Look at that pretty girl. Oh yeah. He's already bleeding. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm learning something here. See, you bleed them out because they taste better? The, it, the meat gets it takes it out of the meat. And it's just better for it. Water, stick your hand in the water here. That's the best freeze in the world. Yeah, it's a little cold. I would say so you're just going to keep them in the water right there. Yep, it just bleeds them out. The meat's clean. And... By all means, man, go ahead and get another. All right. All get in I'll, I'll let you. How, how the about fact you? that you popped one in the second cast made me feel real good. So. <laughs> That's good. That's a good sign. There we go. Right, side, side, go. Side, 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 side. There we go. Yep. Nice. Oh yeah. So it feels a lot better than the first one. Dude, I'm loving this. You want to cook this one? Last Dude. Checked, it's only 10 o'clock, so. <laughs> really lunch, let's say, I don't know, 11, 11.30. We'll fish for a little while, pop a few more. I'm down for that. Dude. First, you got to get them in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk after we land them. Let's we'll see how this goes first. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a big good. buck. I can already see him. This is this this one feels a lot bigger than the last one. Oh, yeah, he's a big buck. I can tell. I saw his, his tail came out. Oh, that's a big buck. Is it? Oh, yeah. I'm lifting lift it up. Oh, got him. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well done. Nice yeah. job, bro. Thanks. Oh, sick. Hey, survived a seal attack. Survived a seal attack? Yeah. Really? Look at the tail. Well, I was originally going for a really cool, hold on, got a little crustiness going on. Well, originally I was going for like a really cool, like epic drone shot, but somebody knows, well, somebody kind of messed up and pressed a big red circle button. Not going to name who. We're not going to name who hey, did it. I never, We're I not never volunteered for drone duty. Mr. Hey, hey, give me with a drone that I've never flown before. He picks up the damn thing and, and press the red button. It's all good though. We're gonna be doing actually like a catch and cook here in a second. Now we got, we can only keep three a piece, and we've already got two bonked. Well, we got four bonked. Excuse me, but this is the one I just caught. I guess I didn't really show you guys yet. Look at this thing. He got uh, attacked by a seal and survived, but he's not surviving me. <laughs> he's gonna end up on the dinner table now. Thanks, outlaw. You're welcome. Thank you. I did it on purpose, actually. <laughs> it's my channel. <laughs> Oh, there. Oh, I thought that was the line snapping. There you go. Oh. Nice. nice. Yep. Oh. Oh. Man, don't. Screaming. Screaming. There you go. Tree. Snack. Tree. Got me a tree. Hell yeah. I even do this in Alaska. Not, nothing about. Oh yeah, I could even I could do this in. Can do it I could do it anywhere. Yeah, I got it. Got it. Yeah. Go ahead and pick up the front. Just there. Pull the shell. Kind of hard to see me at the scene. I have it. Oh, there you go. I got one. I got one. Yep. I know we don't. I don't want to. I don't want this one to get off. I want to bonk this one. This one, this one needs to go back to Texas with me is what I need. Come back to Texas. You ready? I just need to do him, okay? Yep. Go ahead and lift him up. And he's up and he's in. Yeah. Woo, got him. There's a limit for the, where's the bonker? Where's the bonker? Right here. Sorry, little dude, you're coming back to Texas. Dude, sorry, but you're, you look too tasty. 
So what do you do? You grab one to... So, so see how they have all the gills through here? Okay. So I'll reach through all the way like that. Uh -huh. And I'll just yank and drop them in. So what it does okay. is just plucks the gills because the heart will beat about another five, 10 minutes after the day. Really? Yeah. Okay. So that way it just bleeds them out. Do both sides and drop them right in there. So... Just pluck a few gills out. Just run too free and just with the force of the fish, it just rips them right out. All right. See how they start bleeding out now? Dude, that's cool. All right, so the heart's actually the heart still bumping for still five minutes. Yeah, you can watch it. It's just going to keep pumping. See how it's pulsing? Yeah. That's crazy. So <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, for five minutes. And, 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 and the meat's it. better exactly. after. Exactly. Ah, look at uh, that. Iron out, tastes better, not that bloody. Learn something new today. Yeah, so he's just going to keep on pumping for about five Dude, minutes. Dude, will, will you catch a fish for we can eat it? Yeah, I'll, I'll throw one with you. Yeah, you need to catch a fish. Here, just throw this. I'll let you catch a fish. Cool. And then we'll, we'll munch on yours. Yeah. So now I got a limit. You got a limit. You're I got a limit. You're done. Oh, dude, I got the net. I'm netting it. Don't worry. I've got this. This is lunch. This is lunch. Oh, that's a bucket. Drew, our guy that took us out here, he's got lunch on right now. We What's are up? about to, it's about to, to have to eat this thing. It's about to go down. I didn't think there's this many freaking mosquitoes in, in, in Alaska. They're like, these things are like cows flying in the air. Come on in the net, little dude. Yeah. Here, I'll let you do the honors and bunk your own fish. How about that? I appreciate it. <laughs> feel, more, feel more of a man at that point. <laughs> feel something I caught. Give him a good. Oh, oh, you missed him. Oh, wow. Backhand. You, that's just how it works. You're like Griffey. <laughs> so we're gonna make it a boot now we got our limit we and we've got so we can keep three a piece three him me and, and him but he just kept one so we can go eat it so we're gonna go fillet him take some photos or something over by a waterfall there's gonna be hopefully a bear that shows up something crazy like that but that's what we're gonna do now yeah you've done this a few times huh a few times yeah <laughs> You get good at it after you do a thousand a season. Dude, that looks so good. And then you're gonna do what I call push the doorbell, buddy. I wanna actually try one. Do you? Yeah, I kinda do one. Right, I'll try. show you. I'll, next fish, I'll teach you how. Well, let's not mess this up at all. Uh, oh yeah, seagulls. You guys like you guys like bones in your fish? I do. You, you better like bones, because you're gonna get some bones. <laughs> um, there we go. Cool, man. We're gonna eat this one because I completely just. I'm gonna shape her up pretty good. Just a little I bit. I kind of butchered this a little bit. Right, you're good. We'll, we're, we'll make sure to get a clean slice of meat out of it. Hey, seagulls. <laughs> we're gonna eat these ones. These ones look. Yep. Well, it's enough meat for three dudes. We're gonna let him finish it off because we gotta bring some of this meat home. And with me doing it, we're probably not gonna bring much home. Bring a sandwich home. <laughs> Huh? They're pretty majestic. Do I? The mermaid up front. Mermaid, mermaid. Whatever you want to call me. Yeah, what? Wow. Got some freaking nice parquet squeeze butter in there. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, we got the. I'm, my mouth's watering right now. <laughs> we'll get there. We get there when we get there. Yeah. You put enough brown sugar and butter on it, and it gets. That's good. The heat keeps everything trapped, so then that brown sugar makes it caramelized with the butter, and the seasoning is just fire. Oh, yes. Oh. I'm throw this out there. There's nothing like catching your fish, and then that was, or excuse me, there's nothing like eating your fish that was just swimming 30 minutes ago. So good. So good. I mean, look at that. Oh. <laughs> it's like a good taxi service. This is the Alaskan taxi right here. Yeah. Just coming in. Yellow oh. plane. <laughs> Flying. Oh. So this is the inside of an Alaskan taxi. Anybody wants to know what it looks like? It's really nice, crisp, and clean. Good Uber service. Uber, don't call me an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Fish, Outlaw. We're good to go. Did you, I know you guys, I, you guys couldn't tell, but when I was pointing at there a second ago, that was a glacier, giant glacier. Yep. Absolute monstrosaurus. I didn't even say that word right, but giant glacier. Massive. Hello, we are back in this glorious little cabin retreat thing. This place is amazing. I absolutely love Alaska. I just ate me a giant king salmon for dinner. I mean, when I mean big, it was like a giant fillet, just a big steak. It's like as big as that. Like as big as is that one. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it was that big, but it was really tasty. But you know what? This video is about to take a turn for the worse because it's about to end. Because tomorrow we got to get up at like three in the morning and it's probably still going to be light outside. <laughs> Cause it's so true. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna be fishing tomorrow for king salmon. I have never actually physically targeted them. I've caught them one time, but I've never actually like, you know what, I'm gonna try to catch a king. So tomorrow we're going after those ones right there with this dude right there. That dude is always linked down below and he'll be linked down in tomorrow's video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully we catch a giant king salmon. I'm gonna eat some ice cream and all the videos are gonna watch you. Oh, yeah.